What's going on guys? My name is Ryko9 and today I'm going to show you how to get the Outbreak Perfected in Destiny 2. The Outbreak Perfected is an awesome pulse rifle that spits out killer bees at enemies after you get a kill with it. And as we all know, the Fallen hate bees. This weapon of mass honey destruction is acquired in a similar, albeit slightly more complicated fashion to the Whisper of the Worm sniper rifle quest. In that, you have to find some shit, pick up some shit, find a guy, then do a mission in which you kill some shit, parkour some shit, participate in the Maze Runner series, and then kill some more shit. Some would say that this quest line is easier than the Whisper of the Worm, and to that I say, screw you, no it's not. Alright, for those of you who already have the Fallen Transponder, you may skip ahead. For those that don't, first, you'll need to go to the rig on Titan and sparrow down the big-ass bridge that you spawn facing. Uh, you'll enter a room, and then follow a path down to the right. Continue to follow that path, and you'll end up in a similar room with either a wizard or a knight inside of it, with a bunch of pointless ads. There will be another room with a locked door that you should be able to unlock already, and if you can't unlock it, you'll have to look up how to unlock the door because I don't remember what I did, and this is exactly how I wrote the script. After unlocking the door, there will be a pickup option by the second console on the right, as Raymond is kindly finding about now, hopefully. And you will receive a fallen transponder with a bunch of empty nodes. Now for the fun part. After you receive your Magic Space iPad, you'll have to find the six nodes in Lost Sectors. Four are in the EDZ, and two are on Nessus. The first location in the EDZ is the Atrium, and for those who don't know the names of the Lost Sectors like I do, it's the one in the church. Go down and defeat the first room of ads. When you reach the next room, take a left toward the locker room and enjoy a nice hot shower with your first note. Note that you do not have to complete the Lost Sectors for these notes to count, but if you're a madman like Marco, then you may do so and waste my goddamn time. Next, go to the Widow's Walk. Lost Sector. It's the one that's literally right next to the church on the left. Pretty simple. The node can be found at the end of the Lost Sector, on the second floor of the apartment complex that's nicer than my home, above the final chest on the right. After you've collected your second node and eaten the leftover pizza from the party that took place there last night, head to the outskirts and enter the Drain Lost Sector. This one is underneath the bridge in the middle of the outskirts. Uh, it's a tad bit trickier to describe where to get this, but as I am myself, I will do it in the most descriptive fashion ever. Once you enter the main chunk of the Lost Sector, there will be a drop-down point that most people would completely ignore, as it has no actual fucking meaning in the completion of this bitch. Drop down here and go over to the small platform on your lower left, and your third node will be waiting there for you and might smell slightly sulfuric. Next, head to the Whispered Falls Lost Sector in the outskirts. Uh, this one, I'm, I, I'm lazy, you'll just, I'll put it up, you'll look at it. Enter it in a nice and smooth way, and once you come to the huge opening, drop all the way down and head to your right to the eerie green room, and your node will be on the ground next to the triple skull spike, which would make for a lovely garden decoration. Next, you're gonna want to drag your ass all the way to Nessus! <laughs> and enter the Rift Lost Sector, which is literally right next to Failsafe. Once you arrive in the main room, hop up to this ledge and enter this huge box that is actually my house, and you can steal one of my notes, because I don't need it anymore. After you steal from me, head to the Glade of Echoes in its corresponding lost sector called I'm Too Lazy to Remember the Name of This One, it's in the middle, you'll be fine. And whoosh, go to the end of the lost sector around this cheeky little corner and your final note will be here. Raymond claims that you can grab it through the wall it's behind, but doing the jump is way more fun. Boom! You've got all your nodes. What's next, you ask? Get ready for the time of your life, because now you get to go back to everyone's favorite location, the farm! It's weird that this place has, like, no crops anywhere. Like, it's a farm. It should at least have some wheat or something. Anyway. Spawn in and head immediately to your right and enter the storm cellar so tornadoes can't get you and so you won't end up far away from Kansas and meet Iron Man, Johnny Depp, a furry, and a wizard that doesn't know it's pronounced Leviosa, not Leviosa. Talk to the nice alien from Red vs. Blue and you and your fire team will begin the last step. Is this thing over yet? No? Fuck.
Now, it is important that you have a full fire team for this, and that at least one of you is running a hard light, or in our case, two. I don't have one because I don't get on all the time in Caesar. There will be a lot of void and arc shielded enemies, so if you don't have cool guns, just make sure that you have the corresponding burn on your gun. Also, a few enemies have solar shields, like heavy shanks and such, so make sure just one of you has solar on. I'm important too, guys. You have 20 minutes to complete this, and boy is it a doozy, so let's get going. First, run through the big door when you spawn and watch alien intercourse take place. Then head to this little tube on the right, and then the battle begins. Fight your way through all of the ads, and I mean all of them, you have to kill everything to move on. Until you make your way to this big open hangar, where you're likely to get confused, unless you're me. Jump down to the ship on the bottom, and go through this tunnel that is conveniently underneath it. Next, you'll find yourself at a vent, which leads to more vents. Break the first vent on your right and hop down to the platform that's just below it. Be quick, as this does break shortly after you touch it. After the vents, you'll end up outside and see a big yellow floaty thing. Jump on that and turn around. You have a choice here. Do some stupid parkour that wastes everyone's time, or jump to where you are between these two notches in the wall, and when it turns red towards the bottom, lightly land your way on this platform and pull the lever, crunk, so your friends can join you easier. Follow the path above you, and you should end up in a room with yellow ledges leading upward. Make your way up to the ledge that is second from the top, and it will be one of the two vents up there. I don't remember what it is because it's 3 a.m. and I did this a week ago. Plus, I got spun around here anyway, so you'll, you'll be fine. Next, you have to do the spinning fans of justice. I feel like I should do that in a Batman voice. Hold on. Next, you'll have to do the spinning fans of justice. That was a little too rally. Anyway, I really shouldn't have to describe how to do this. It's pretty easy. Follow the red strips until you reach the bottom. Then, you know, you did it. Congratulations, you're at the bottom. Don't die to the fans. It's not hard. Uh, cheeky little secret. If you can't do it for whatever reason, just land on the middle and then hop down. These You, you don't die on the middle of the fans. Nice! Next, follow the path on the left, and you'll reach a nice jumping part where you land on each of these paths. Put, 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 put. Next, follow the path on the left, and you'll reach a nice jumping part where you just land on each of the platforms on the right side and enter the not-so-secret hatch at the end. Now, these ledges are freaking small, and sometimes you just slide off, and you're probably going to die here sometime. So, and if you don't, your friends will. But anyway. Now you'll have to face Mecha Jaws and his Maze of Doom. Except it's not really a maze, more of just follow the path. Uh, really not that hard. There are four switches in this maze, two on each side. We've found it helps if two of you take one side and the better player who is good at avoiding Mecha Jaws takes the other. Flip all four switches and then head to the exit. The maze, it's, it's really not that complicated other than the random electric walls that pop up and, you know, Mecha Jaws. The exit is literally on the opposite side from where you start, and the switches are stupid easy to find. Like, when I heard Maze, I thought of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, not a small map on the back of a paper kids menu at Chili's. After the maze and narrow escape of Mecha Jaws, use these platforms as elevators and wait patiently to reach the catwalk above you. Once you get there, completely refreshed by your calm elevator ride, enter the vent on your right or left, depending on what way you are facing, and make your descent down the slipping slide of doom. Have I said doom twice in here? Yeah, maze of doom and slipping slide of... What is wrong? Once you hit the ground and break both of your legs, head to your left and enter the room with the staircase. Once you see the staircase, there will be a vent to the right of the top of the stairs, top top of the stairs. I wrote top of the stairs, like top o the stairs. What the hell? Now you should enter a secret room. This is pretty simple to get out of. Find the wall with the cryptarch symbol, which should be right behind you when you land. 
touch the wall softly, tell it that you love it, and back up. It'll open. Go to the last room on the right down this massive hallway and drop down this little circle. Follow the path and you'll get to the boss fight. This is where it can get tough if you don't know what you're doing, but luckily you're watching my video so now you'll semi know what you're doing. Also, I don't have our winning boss fight recorded because I raged super hard after we lost the fifth time after almost beating it, so my Picasso-esque Microsoft painting will suffice. You'll drop down into a room with a fallen captain, the Bowels, and a bunch of ads. Kill all of the ads first, trust me it'll be way easier. Once you've murdered all those silly little ads, start to damage the boss man until a servitor with a ton of shanks spawn. Kill the servitor and the shanks because they will mess you up bad if you don't, and I mean that. Start to damage the boss again after you destroy the child and a second servitor will spawn behind you. Do the same thing to that one that you did the first. The boss is pissed off now because you murdered his cats, and he'll spawn in a bunch of ads and two fucking tanks. Good god. Alright, listen very closely. This is important. Kill the ads quickly, because they're just a pain in the ass, especially the vandal. Two of you should focus fire on the boss while one of you takes out one of the tanks. Once the tank or the boss is dead, either or, all three of you should target the boss and kill him until there's just one tank left. Destroy the last tank and you'll receive the outbreak perfected. In this boss fight, you are required to kill the boss, the two servitors, and the two tanks. If you don't, you won't get the B gun, and you most likely will have to restart. We forgot about one of the tanks, and while we almost killed it, it wasn't enough, and time ran out, and that's about when I stopped recording. Really? 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 Alright, that should about do it. If this tutorial was not in-depth enough for you, I'm sorry. Watch someone else's video, see if I give a damn. But before you go, leave a like and a comment telling me that I at least helped out a little bit so I can have the smallest feeling of self-importance for the year, and I'll be all set. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what tutorial I should attempt next, and enjoy your day, Bod.